Welcome back everybody. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at a frauditor who gets arrested for being drunk in public. Now this guy is quite a basket case. I'm going to be covering him a lot more because he constantly gets himself arrested. With that being said, enjoy the video. Why like that is you see can you see the tip of my finger? Can you see the tip of my finger? I'm gonna do some quick field sobriety tests. Do you see the tip of my finger? I don't I don't Do you see the tip of my finger? I wanna know like I wanna know you're being Don't touch me. You're being detained because I think you're intoxicated. What? You want to participate in field I'm not. Tests? I'm not intoxicated. You want to feel participate right. in field I got a speech tests? impediment. I got a speech impediment. You want to participate Can in field sobriety Can you please let go of me? You want to participate in some field sobriety tests? I am not drunk, bro. Okay. I just want... Uh, Okay. I just wanted to know a, a simple question. You see the tip of my finger? It all see, it all, it all so let me just say something. Yes, he does have a speech impediment, like most of these frauditors, but he is really acting strange. First of all, he was in the middle of the street, and second of all, you'll see later on in another video that he doesn't usually speak that bad. It looks like he's slurring his words even more, so he is probably drunk. She had to do is be like she had an emergency. All she had to do was say there was an emergency, and that was my, it. You see the tip of that my was, finger? Uh, can I get your sergeant? You want to participate in some field sobriety tests? I didn't do nothing wrong. You want to participate? In I didn't do nothing tests? wrong. You're shining you're, that light in my face. I think you're intoxicated. That's the problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you think? I, th I think you are. Do you want to participate in some field sobriety tests to show that you're not? Yeah, I'm not intoxicated. Do you want to participate in some field sobriety I want to know why she didn't use a finger. That's it. I, I, I can understand if she, I want to know why you're I can understand. I, get, I wasn't walking in the middle of the street. I saw you. I got witnesses stating I wasn't. I saw you. And I got... I, I just you. wanted to know why she it's didn't... Not, it's not your business. I, it, are you a police officer? It was, I allowed? wanted to know if it was it because someone could have gotten are you, hit. Are you allowed to enforce that is, laws see, in Massachusetts? See, that's, that's the thing. She, somebody could have gotten hurt. If she turned in there and somebody was crossing... Bobby, what's going on, bro? If somebody was crossing... He's walking down the middle of the street if, and he's intoxicated. And I'm was I crossing in the middle of the... No, he was not. I saw him. I saw him right. walking right in the middle of the street. So it looks like there's some lens lickers over there that are saying, oh, why are the cops harassing him? He didn't do anything wrong. But if I see a drunk dude in the middle of a street, I would think that, yeah, he's in danger for himself and the cops need to look at him. So that's exactly what they're doing. They're just doing their job. But sometimes these lens lickers have a hard time understanding that. Can I see you, Sergeant? You, you're you're a Sergeant. Sergeant. You, want, All right. you want to participate? Um, I, I want to talk to you. Over there, I saw a female officer take a left hand turn down School Street, and she took that right, right into the police station. And I walked up simply asking why she didn't use a flicker turning into the police station. If it was in an emergency, I can understand. But you know, like, I'm just doing what I need to do. And I wasn't repeating nothing. I wasn't walking in the road like he said. I, I was just trying to see why she didn't use a flicker turning. That would be a traffic infraction if I was driving and if I was to take a left turn turn or a right hand turn without my blinker I would be pulled over okay and all I wanted to know is why can you get the names real quick for me because we're going to take action here in a second hey ma'am can you stop real quick but hey, that's all I wanted to know I'm not why did you block her cruiser when she was trying to back up I didn't block it in you should have you calling her a liar yeah, dude I, I just backed up and went and when, when she got out to the road I stopped on the sidewalk I didn't go further into the road I let her go I didn't go no further than, I know what I'm doing in my fucking camera bro I know what I'm doing. <coughs> okay. I'm go. Thank you guys. Oh, all I was trying to do was to see why. See, the, it's none of your business, Bobby. Why? You know, it's like, none of your business. But if I was to do that, I would have gotten stopped. Not necessarily. 
By the way, this clown is called News Now Cape Cod Cop Watch or some nonsense like that. And he's actually been at it for over a year and he only has a thousand subs with over like 300 videos, which is crazy. At some point you would realize that it's not working, maybe just get a regular nine to five job. Well, with these frauditors, it's very, very hard. They want to hang on to the tiny, tiny little bit of clout that they get, even though in reality it is completely worthless. Uh, not, necessarily. not necessarily. You, you, know how many, you know how long I've been a police officer? How long? 13 years. You know how many people I pulled over for not using a blinker? No. Exactly none. None? None. Bobby, Bobby, I fucking love you, dude. Come on, these guys are punks. Okay, I'm gonna get your complaint here in a second, okay? I just can't get com I can't get communication when, when he's talking like that, okay? And he can have it real quick. Real quick, just for yeah. Really? I wasn't trying. I just wanted to see if she would talk to me. About what? Like, uh, yeah. I, I'm trying to stop this diversity. Excuse me. Can I borrow? Bobby, what's going on? I don't know what happened with him. No, he was getting a little, like a little mouthy. I don't, I don't know. know. Going, I don't know what's going on with you. We had a nice stroll down Main Street. I don't I know. I like Sergeant. Patterson, I, who's my cousin, see, and Megan Paul. And I, I, I don't know what happened. I do not know, know what happened with him. And Matt Blondin, who's I don't know what happened with him. Okay. Our female officer but, said he blocked her cruiser when she was trying to back But I didn't the block it in. As to the soon point where she said, took, she told me she thought he was going to kick it, start kicking the No, no. Yeah, uh, I believe soon, every word she says. As She's soon a friend of mine. She's a co-worker of mine. If she said she thought you were going to kick the door, I believe it. You saw it. I stayed away. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, I kept my distance. Bobby, let me explain something to you. Just stop talking for a second. Whether or not like, she used speak. a blinker when she let made a turn, speak. it's none of your business. I have you like it's not. It's, 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 I, told, I just told you, 13 years, I've never pulled fine. anyone over for not using a turn signal. Mm -hmm. All right. You would not get stopped for, for doing that. All right. Especially not by her. So you confronting her, that's none of your business. You're not authorized by the state of the, by the town, uh, the state of Massachusetts to, right, enforce, so, to enforce motor vehicle laws, so, are you? Yeah, no, I'm not, but I just... Wanted to see why no, she. No, did. You have no business confronting he, her over that. Because I wanted to see what would be the difference between me. So at this point, it's pretty obvious that this guy is drunk in public. And now the officers are about to run out of patience and put him in handcuffs where he belongs. Not using my blinker in her. Like, and now he's going to jail. Yeah, she's a good, she's a good officer. She is, and I just wanted to see what the difference. How much have you had to drink tonight? I only had a couple nips, not much. Okay, you want to do some field sobriety tests? Yeah, not really. I don't need to. Well, then I'll just take you down and put you in protective custody, and we'll give you the breathalyzer. You want to take a breathalyzer instead? Like you want, really want me to do a Thanks. sobriety test? I want to. Yeah, I think you're intoxicated. Yeah, I saw you walking right in the middle of the street down there. With Was the, I walking in the I middle of the street? I saw you, Bobby. I had a green light. You were with me. Yeah, no, you were. We were all walking in the middle of the street, but having. Yeah, we were crossing the street. We were crossing the street when you were coming in. I know. After she, after she had already put, driven by. Stop the way. You get, you're in protective custody. Put your stuff away. Put your hands behind your back. Put your, put your phones away. You gotta put your hand behind your back or you're resisting arrest and you don't want to get another charge. So there you go. He's arrested. Now, let me show you another clip of this guy getting owned. And you'll see that his speech, although yes, he has an impediment, it's clearly not as bad as it was that night. Check this out. What's the problem? What's your problem? I'm just filming my government agency. Well, you're not supposed to be. Yeah? Yeah. Good. Okay, if I catch you again, you're going to get a no trespass order. What's your name? How are you going to trespass me with no crime? Like I just said. What are you going to do? First Amendment audit. 
So you guys can clearly hear, right? That yeah, although his speech is not perfect, it is much more coherent than what it used to be. And I find it really funny when people say First Amendment audit. It's like, dude, that doesn't mean anything. First Amendment, you know what that is? Freedom of speech, I have the right to oppress my government agencies. This is for, this is public, this is a public building, you can do whatever you want, so, I don't know what he's talking about, you're not doing anything wrong, you can't stand for someone to be on public property or in a public building. This is a, a service. This is to help people. Service center. Human service. Now, I don't know who that woman is, but she is right. It is to help people. However, you're not looking for help. You're just looking to make a shitty YouTube video. And obviously, they're not going to allow you to do that. And this video is like his second best video. It says, going back, never back down. But he is backing down because he's not walking inside. He's completely misleading the dumb lens lickers, but somehow they're still eating it up. Again, bats, mass rehab, you can't tell someone that they can't do something like this or be on public property. So that's the lady that accompanies him and was spewing all that knowledge. Good to know. Anyways, that's it for this video. As you guys saw, he didn't go back in because he knew he was in the wrong. Somehow he called it a win, but I call it a walk of shame. That's it for today. Thanks for watching, everybody. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. I live here!